Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various conceptual science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we will solve this question on lead code regarding find consistently improving employees. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay. The question reads, we are given a table called employees with two different columns, employee ID and name. Employee ID is the unique identifier for this table. Each row contains information about an employee. The second table, performance reviews, has four different columns, review ID, employee ID, review date and rating. Review ID is the unique identifier for this table. Each row represents a performance review for an employee. The rating on a scale of 1 to 5 where 5 is excellent and 1 is poor. We are asked to write a solution to find employees who have consistently improved their performance over the last 3 reviews. An employee must have at least 3 reviews to be considered. Secondly, the employee's last 3 reviews must show strictly increasing ratings. That means each review better than the previous. Use the most recent three reviews based on review date for each employee and then calculate the improvement score as the difference between the latest rating and the earliest rating among the last three reviews. Return the result table ordered by improvement score in descending order and then by name in ascending order. Okay, let's go to this example. Here we have a list of five different employees and their performance reviews. So if we look at employee ID 1, the latest review of this employee was on 15th of October 2023, which was 5. Then previous to that was 15th of July 4 and 15th of April 2023, where the rating was 3. So if we look at the latest 3 for this employee, it is strictly increasing. So employee ID 1 should be in the output and the improvement is 5 minus 3, that is 2. And similarly, we can do that for other employees as well. So if we look at our output, we have employee ID 1 whose name is Alice Johnson and the improvement score is 2. Okay, so to solve this question, the first thing that we need to do is we only need to consider the latest 3 based on the review date. So we can rank based on the review date in descending order so that we can go ahead from there. So from this table called performance reviews, let's alias this as P. What we are going to do is, let us return all the columns, so select star and then assign ranks. So you can use row number, rank or dense rank. Row number seems fit here, so I am going to use row number. So row number, since this is a window function, you need to write the over clause. And what we need to do is, for every employee ID, we need to get the latest 3. So that is why we do partition by employee ID and then we need the latest three. So we do order by review date in descending manner and let's alias this as RNK or rank. So if I go ahead and run this, let's see what do we get in our output. Okay, so if I look at my output right now, here we have review ID, employee ID, review date, rating and the ranks assigned and just as we discussed before in the example for employee id1 the latest review was on 15th of october 23 and hence it is assigned a rank one okay once we have this we are only concerned about rank less than equal to three why because the question mentions that we only need to consider the latest three for every employee what we can do is we can save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we can do is from this common table expression, let us keep only those rows where rank is less than or equal to 3. That means the only latest 3 reviews and then what we are going to do is we can count, okay, what are the latest rating, the second latest and the earliest rating among the 3. How can we do that? We can group by the employee ID and use case when statements that, hey, when the rank is equal to 1, what is the rating? Then when rank equal to 2, what is the rating? And so on. So what we are going to do is keep only the latest 3 and then group by the employee ID, return me the employee ID and then case when rank is equal to 1, then you return me the rating and since you are starting a case when statement, it should always have an end clause. So end this, 
and since you are grouping by we basically do is okay return me the sum of this entire thing and let's alias this as r1 so the first rating or the latest rating then similarly we can go ahead and do that for rank equal to 2 as well as rank equal to 3 so if i go ahead and write here copy paste so rank equal to 2 as r2 and similarly for r3 as well rank equal to 3 and alias this as r3 okay now if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so here what we have is we have employee id 1 latest rank second latest and the earliest among the three and we have that now for employee id 5 you see r3 that is the earliest among the three is null why is that so because if you look at this example here we have employee id 5 who only have two reviews the question clearly mentions that we need to consider only those employees who have at least three reviews to be considered right so that is why if we solve this question in this particular manner we can simply say that okay if your r1 is not null r2 is not null and r3 is not null then only consider them so that is why if we go ahead and do that you know do that perform that filter we can simply filter out employees where you don't have at least three reviews so what we can do is once we have the reviews in this manner we can save this entire thing in another common table expression so let's do cte2 as this entire thing again goes into parenthesis and then what we need to do is from this second common table expression firstly in this output you only have the employee id and you can use the ratings to calculate the third column that we want improvement score but you also need the name column so let us perform a join of this common table expression with the employees table so as c1 let us perform a left to join with the employees table alias as e on c1 dot employee id is equal to e dot employee id and then what we are going to do is from, from this CT, right? So, this is the CT that you have, CT2. And from this, we also need to make sure that none of this are nulls. So, we write where C1.R1 is not null and C1.R2 is not null and C1.R3 is not null. Okay. Let me go ahead and from this what do we need is let me do everything right for now, right now select star so let's see if that you know row row for employee id 5 is eliminated or not so if you look at this output let me just drag it to the left here you don't have employee id 5 now right so now all of these employees have at least three reviews now the second part of this question is you need to make sure that the reviews are strictly increasing that means r1 is greater than r2 and r2 is greater than r3 so what we can do is and c1 dot r1 is greater than c1 dot r2 and c1 dot r2 is greater than c1 dot r3 now if i go ahead and run this it is going to remove employee id4 because it is not strictly increasing so if i go ahead and run this so you see now we have only the eligible employees who have all the three reviews present or at least three reviews present and it is strictly increasing you have the employee id you have the name you also have the reviews and we can use that to cal calculate the improvement score so let's do finishing touches on this so what we are going to do is once we have this entire thing we are only concerned about the employee id so let us return c1 dot employee id then the second column we need is name which comes from the employees table so e dot name and then finally we need the improvement score so c1 dot r1 minus c1 dot r3 this entire thing goes into parenthesis and then alias this as what is required in our output that is improvement score okay and what we also need to do in this case is we need to order by certain columns so return the result table ordered by improvement score in descending order so order 
by improvement score in descending manner and then name in ascending order okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted if we look at our output our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to see pass all the test cases or not so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so not a difficult question however somewhat tricky the first thing that we need to do to solve this question is firstly for every performance reviews and every employee id we got the rank based on descending order of their reviews because we need to use this rank to keep only those rows where the reviews are the latest three so we got that and for each of those latest three reviews we got the ratings then what we did was we made sure that there is at least three reviews present so we did that none of these r1 r2 and r3 ratings are null and then it should be strictly increasing once we made sure of that then we simply return the employee id name and the improvement score calculated by latest rating minus the earliest rating among the three and ordered by improvement score in descending manner and the name in ascending order so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video